What is up guys, it is Ascended Dreams, bursting onto the scene with guidance to infinite love and access to positive energy. So what's going down with all you beautiful souls, man? We back out here in nature, just connecting with you all higher vibrationally, just doing what we do best, all right? So with that being said, guys, before I hop off into the video, I gotta start off by thanking each and every one of my travelers. To all my new travelers who have recently just joined the community, welcome. And I thank you for all the words of encouragement, man. It seriously just warms my heart to know that there's so many beautiful souls connecting to these messages day in and day out. Man, it breathes life into my spirit. So seriously, you guys are saving my life, okay? You guys are saving my life. So seriously, thank you for connecting to these messages. All of my videos, man, means more than the world to me, guys. So before I jump off into the video, man, I gotta shout out one of my beautiful travelers. One of our beautiful travelers who actually recommended this video and he wanted me to talk to you guys today about how to manifest your dreams, all right? How to manifest your dreams in 3D, okay? So zooming right off into it, the first tip that I have for you guys, man, is to raise your vibration, all right? Raise your vibrations because everything on this earth is frequency. Everything on this earth is a frequency. So ultimately, your dreams have already manifested, right? The universe is just waiting for you to become a vibrational match to that frequency. So guys, <laughs> all my day ones, you know what time it is. It's time to get out here and raise your vibration. It's time to connect with Mother Earth. It's time to connect with the sun. And it's time to shift your diet, man. Shift your diet to a higher vibrational diet that fully supports where it is that you wanna be in the future, okay? Don't settle for some junk today because ain't nobody got time for that. If you wanna settle for some junk, you can go kick it with the haters in the fuck one time, all right? <laughs> So guys, that is my first tip that I have for you all, man, is to raise your vibration. And I can't stress this enough because you have to become a vibrational match for your dream life, okay? So zipping off into the second tip that I have for you guys, practice sexual transmutation, all right? And I actually just made a video about sexual transmutation, guys. I'll leave that above so you guys can find that. And I highly recommend that video to you guys for those of you who are just looking to hold on to your sexual energy, right? So guys, practicing sexual transmutation will fast track your dreams into reality, all right? Because your sacred sexual energy is actually creative potential energy, okay? So when you start to hold on to this energy, you will have an ultimate boost in your energy, boost in your vitality, and it will give you the supreme confidence needed to get out here and create, right? <laughs> So I'm out here every single day, you guys, connecting with you all higher vibrationally because I am holding on to my sexual energy. I am putting myself in position day in and day out to download the codes and disseminate them to people who are in need, okay? And this is my work, guys. I'm a light worker. So this is what we must do. We must hold on to our sexual energy so that we can fast track our manifestations into this reality, all right? So I can't stress this enough, guys. Hold on to that sexual energy. Because if you don't hold on to that sexual energy, man, you might find yourself kicking it with those haters in the <laughs> It ain't nobody got time for that, man. <laughs> so guys, that is my second tip that I have for you all, man, is to connect with your sexual energy and to hold on to that sacred life force, okay? So guys, the third tip that I have, zooming off right into the third tip, the third tip I have for manifesting your dreams into reality is to act as if your dreams have already manifested, okay? Because my dreams are your dreams and your dreams are my dreams. We are ultimately one and the same, right? So with that being said, guys, when we are acting as if our dreams have already manifested, you are shifting out of the law of attraction vibration and into the law of correspondence, okay? So this is a super powerful shift because when you begin to act as if your dreams have already manifested in this reality, you are sending a signal out to the universe that says that you are no longer in the phase of wanting. You are in the phase of receiving, okay? So you must realize that by embodying the feelings of what it would be like to harness and actualize your dreams, is what will actually catapult you to manifesting it in real time. Because your frequency is a dominant frequency. And when you send the dominant frequency out into the universe that you have received, 
that you have attracted and that you are embodying your dream life today, even if you haven't yet, the universe has no option but to respond to that dominant frequency. So this is the law of correspondence, guys. We must shift out of wanting and into the energy of knowing, okay? Knowing that we are powerful beings, knowing that you are limitless and that you are a creator. You have infinite potential here on this earth. And the universe wants nothing more than for you to dive into these energies that exist deep inside of our soul. Everyone is special, everyone has a gift, and everyone has the ability to go out and actualize what it is that they want here on this earth, right? So with that being said, it's already happened for you. You just have to be, you know, patient with yourself, okay? Which is what leads me actually into my fourth tip, which is to be patient, guys. And this is super hard, and this is super hard to understand because at times, man, we want these realities to exist right away, okay? We want all of our dreams to come true, but we don't want to do the work, right? So no, you got to get out here and do the work. You got to get out here and put yourself in position day in and day out to receive this abundance, okay? You can't be closed off. You can't be in a state of fear. And you can't doubt yourself, guys. You are limitless. You have limitless potential. Don't ever question your initiatives. And most importantly, don't ever question yourself, okay? So my fourth tip, back to the fourth tip. <laughs> be patient with yourselves, okay, guys? Be patient with yourselves because you have to trust the process. And when you are impatient, you are actually sending out a signal to the universe that says you don't trust the process, that you don't trust the divine creator, your higher self. So you have to fall back. You have to fall back. And when you set your intention, let the universe carry out its magic. What? One more time for those haters in the pot. <laughs> so when you had set your intention, when you hold your vision, you must wait for the universe to work its magic. So this is one of the hardest tips, guys. I'm not even going to lie to you. Patience is a virtue, okay? Patience is a virtue. And we must learn this patience in order to be rewarded, in order for us to be fully supported in the future, okay? So be patient with yourself. Be patient with those around you. And ultimately, be patient with your vision, okay? Be patient because it will come to fruition. <laughs> so guys, that was my fourth tip, is to be patient. I can't stress the importance of this, guys. Your dreams have already manifested. So moving off into number five, the fifth and final tip that I have for all you guys on how to manifest your dreams, okay? <laughs> so y'all, my fifth and final tip for each and every one of you guys is to remember that you are the dream. Not me, not her, not him, you. You are the dream. And when you remind yourself that you are the dream, you are actually giving yourself permission in the fifth dimension to harness and actualize your dreams in this current physical reality. So remember guys, everything you're made up of is the dream. I am dreaming you while you are dreaming me. Ascended dreams, the collective consciousness of our dreams, guys. So listen, remember and remind yourself who you are, what makes you special, what makes you unique, because your gifts cannot be emulated, okay? Your ideas cannot be duplicated, right? So understanding that you are unique and that you are a divine soul and that you were sent here to raise the vibration of other people around you will ultimately give you the power and the energy and the courage necessary to manifest your dreams into this reality, okay? So if you don't take anything else away from this video, just recognize that you are the dream, okay? And that you are a powerful multidimensional being having a human experience. So guys, you are the dream. That is the fifth and final tip that I have for actualizing and fast-tracking your highest timeline on this planet. <laughs> so guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, I can't thank you guys enough for connecting to these messages day in and day out, man. I'm having the time of my life. I hope you guys are too. With that being said, man, that has been the video. 
So I look forward to connecting with you guys again real, real soon, man. Feel free to comment how you guys are doing on this spiritual awakening and let me know how your manifestations are doing, all right? <laughs> so with that being said, guys, it's been Ascended Dreams. I'm about to get out the way, man. You already know what it is. The word is love.